Welcome to part two of today's workout, y'all. So for this half, I wasn't sure if I was going to go with a chin-up or a T-bar row, and I ultimately went with the reverse grip penle row, which I really like because you get all the explosiveness and the power of a regular penle row. However, since we take an underhand grip with this one, we do allow ourselves to use more bicep and lower lats. So I'm happy with it. I've used this before with this program as a way to start bicep activation. And then I would follow up with an isolation exercise, like a curl of some sort. Today didn't quite go that route. And I really don't think I will include any single joint exercises this time around. Just personal preference, that's all. So after the strict press, I just took 225 from the floor and just went right into working reps. So no warm ups, didn't need them. It's just 225, so this is a very easy weight. So we've got 10 sets of five, 90 seconds of rest between sets, and this was very easy. That's really all there is to say. It's a very light weight for me in terms of rows, and especially for mid rep ranges, 225 is no big deal whatsoever. It's more or less just kind of getting it done. Then for the accessory movement, I went to an old favorite which is a one-arm landmine row. That being said, it's a bit difficult, just a little tricky doing it here because of all the bumper plates that we have. So they take up more room and you just have to be a little bit conscious of your setup. So I took a parallel stance, relatively close stance, and did a warm-up set of eight with 70 pounds just to make sure it was gonna be okay. And then did three working sets of eight with 95 pounds, very, very manageable with 60 seconds of rest between sets, and that was the workout. All right, y'all, thank you, and adopt, don't chop.